All right, guys, we are back. Today we are training chest and back, but I have a special guest. My boy Kabir is in the house. You're used to seeing him behind the camera, but today he's in front of the lens for a training session. You gotta do this every day. I'm gonna send you home with this. You're gonna keep it. Before you train, you'll use it. This is called muscle flossing. Muscle flossing, okay. So, the tendon, when you have tendonitis, doesn't get a lot of blood flow. Because tendons still typically get a lot of blood flow. Uh -huh. So you're gonna have to force the blood in. So now what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna wrap. Then we're gonna put this bottom piece underneath. Get it caught there. Okay. Put your arm down. Now we're gonna do like an Indian burn. We're gonna twist opposite directions, okay? Okay. That hurts, right? Yep. So you can even do it yourself. So you can do it like this. Yeah. So now you're opening up those muscles, you're forcing blood in. Do that for about 30 more seconds. I can already feel blood. Now also twist your arm while you're twisting the other way. Yeah. So I was just telling Kabir, what we're doing today is our rep range gonna be like, 10, 10, eight, and then six reps. Obviously, the lower the reps get, the heavier the weight is. So we're really gonna try to gas our uh, nervous system today with the heavy weight. Now, Kabir does a great job, guys. What I always say is when you're doing presses, you wanna focus on three things. Number one is the range of motion. Number two is the contraction. And number three is the tempo. Notice he's not going too fast up, not too fast slow. Nice, even, steady pressing. I've shot so many videos with Sadiq, by now I could, uh, I know a thing or two, <laughs> just watching you. <laughs> just listening to me. So you know what thing I've been really doing now that, you know, I've been weight training for 18 years. Now I don't waste my time on too many warm-ups. Okay. So I don't want to waste my gas tank on little medium sets. If I'm warm, jump straight up to the 90s or the 100. Um, no need to go up by 10 pound increments every single time. Okay. Uh. Ugh. See, dropping the weight is an art. <laughs> Only the pros do it the correct way. <laughs> Gotta bounce on my bounce, bouncy balls. Good. Excellent. All day, baby. That's three. That's four. Come on. Two sets of two. One. Come on. Two. Good. Two more. One. One more. <sighs> Two. Ooh. Now, Kabir and I have the same focus today, which is upper chest thickness. If you ask nine out of 10 bodybuilders, they'll say their weakness is upper chest thickness. Yeah. So don't feel discouraged. You're just gonna have to focus on just lifting as heavy as you can, good form, and just more mileage in the gym. Just more time, more mileage, more workouts. You always start with incline or? Um, I don't always, but yeah, typically I do about 70% of the time I do. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. What did I get last? Like seven? Eight? Eight? You got six. Six? Okay. Maybe eight. No, you got eight. Eight? Yeah, you got eight. So you got definitely six. I mean, okay. Six and a half, seven is easy. You need a scoop of this? I was literally just thinking about this. I took half a scoop this morning. He was saying, how many reps is he going to get? I'm like, yo, you're definitely going to do at least six. So I offered him some C4 ultimate. <laughs> I took some on my already took it. That's why he's sweating. <laughs> Good. All day. Two. Good. Three. One more. Do you like a machine or a straight bar? I would do a fly, maybe. We only have three exercises for chess. Okay. So we do one fly and two presses. Okay, so you wanna to go to fly and then a press again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, bodybuilding is also a mental sport. You see us discussing, hey, what's next? Are we gonna do a fly? Are we gonna do a press? Um, you always have to do that, okay? You gotta manipulate as you go and you have to train instinctively. You go by feel, you go by look, how you look in the mirror and your strength. And that's how you pick your next exercise. <clears throat> How you doing? Good, good, good. Good to see you, man. What's up, brother? Right. How are you, man? Good to see you. Now, 
We're doing cable flies, guys. But I want you to pay close attention to my elbows. I'm not doing a fly to a press. What I'm doing is I'm keeping my elbows consistently bent the entire time, sort of like I'm hugging a tree. I like that analogy when explaining this exercise. Now when you do them right, you're gonna feel a lot of stretch, okay? We're gonna stretch horizontally. Whereas when we're pressing, it's a different kind of movement. This is more of a stretching movement. Yeah. You gotta try that. Yeah? Yeah, you're up. That's light. I, I don't can have do that. that kind of I can do that for 10 times. That's light, believe me. He thinks he can't do that. Oh. Kabir's gotta I try. I don't think I can. Oh, you gotta try, come on. I don't have that kind of range of motion, I don't know. Bro, you don't have to go that far. You'll be surprised, do it. You get hurt, you don't worry, I'll record for you. It's I'm warmed up, I'll try it. You have to try it. I had C4, yeah, maybe yeah. I'll get it. Go this back. is our YouTube debut, bro. We gotta do it. Very slow on the way down. You, you got it, you want a little lift? It's all in your head, bro. Come on. Light. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Good job. One's good for me. <laughs> I'm nervous to go too low. Oh, it feels good, though. It's the first time you're doing it, so yeah, it's like, yeah. all right, the bar's different. There's a little stability component. See, I don't have that range, neither. That's, a, that's I've been doing this exercise for a long time range. New Jed North shirt, came in just in time. New Jed North shorts, the compression underneath, sick. Promo code Sadiq, baby. Ooh. Five sets of three. Ooh. Yeah. This is good stretch, so this builds off what we're just doing. Okay. Which goes back to what we're saying about like, every workout should be customized during the workout. So if you have a game plan, you can always manipulate it you know, to get a better pump, get a better feel, get a better sweat. Yeah. So that's what we do today. Okay. Nice and slow. Just feel it, let it stretch you a little more. Good, up, nice. You got five, two, nice, nice. One more, one more with me. Stay with him. Good. Uh-oh. Wow. That was wow. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. Go I heard a rumor. I heard a, someone whispering in India. Somebody what? Whispering in India that Sadiq might come to India soon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be there mid-November. India, we're coming, baby. All my fans in India, give me so much love over the past decade. Now it's time to come down and see what the Indian culture is all about. How do I say something in Indian? You could say meh, meh. That's it, right? That means I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> All right, a few cues for a strong bench press, guys. Number one, you want your heels planted in the floor. Number two, when you lay backwards, you want to rotate your shoulder blades back and down for a more powerful position. Tight core, you're pressing into the ground with your heels and you're pressing. Oh. Oh. Now what Kabir's gonna do is he's gonna do a drop set. So this is heavy set. He's gonna do about three to five heavy. We're gonna pull off a 25 Good. and then he's gonna squeeze out another few reps. Good. Good. Get this one real deep. Yes. Good. As you can imagine, peeling off the 25 is a great way to add intensity. Also, if you don't have a lot of time to train, it's a good way to get your training in really quickly and intensely. What I notice like training chest is sometimes I'll do like six or seven exercises. Although I'll have a good sweat, I don't see a lot of gains coming from it. Yeah. When I bring it down to three or four basic exercises, I feel like my chest grows better. Focus on the basics, then go home, hydrate, recover, eat, sleep, and you'll grow no matter what. So I used to do chest once a week and I used to do exactly what you said, five to six yeah. exercises. Yeah. I didn't see results. Yeah. I dropped it down to doing three movements yeah. twice a week. 
Yeah. It feels so much better. Yeah. I get so, a good output on both days. Yeah. Less is more sometimes. Yeah. So you may be beating up the muscle so much that it's not recovering and growing. Yeah. So that might be what happens. So all you guys doing tons of volume, volume has its place in training, but sometimes with a lagging body part, you want to back off, focus on heavy compounds and a few basic exercises. Wow. Record this and put it in a museum. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Press. Beautiful. There he is. Good, nice range of motion. Look at that control. <laughs> yeah, so second baby comes in February. Super excited. Get back on stage, requalify for the Mr. Olympia, and then compete at Olympia. And hopefully win it once and for all. Beautiful. Yes. I'm gonna meet you on this. I one. got you, bro. Don't worry. Lift it with your mind. You got it, you got it, you got it. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm barely touching the bar, but that's enough mental cue to actually get the weight up. And you'll be surprised at how minimal your strength has to be to spot somebody. Am I going for another right. one? Or I'm, I'm, one? I'm, I did a drop set. I think I'm tapped it's out. It's your last chest. All right. Yeah, how about one more? One plate and then just rep it out. Just rep it out? Okay. Maybe like eight to ten in your mind. As okay. you start to fatigue, go a little faster. Okay. You want a spot? Nah, he don't need a spot. I hope so. He don't need it. For one plate? In case I die. <laughs> in case you die. Can I have your camera equipment? <laughs> you can have my camera equipment and there and both. All right. I got it. Yeah. You got a few more. Ooh. All right. Traditional heavy barbell rows. Doesn't get more basic than this when you think about Jordan Yates. You think about a huge, massive back. Um, some of the other great bodybuilders with great backs, Kai Green. You think about this movement. So if it's good enough for them, it's definitely good enough for us. Let's build some thickness. Oh. 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 oh, you got a really good stretch at the bottom. Oh yeah. I see you like rolling yeah. forward. Roll forward, stretch out the lat, bring in the yeah. muscle. Well, bring in the blood to the muscle. Okay. Good. Good. So where are you going in India? What, what state, what city? Mumbai. 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 It's a big city. We're gonna go to a bunch of supplement stores. I think there's a show that weekend also. November? So we we'll do like a tour. Yeah, November. Oh yeah, Sheru Classic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave like mid-November. I'll be gone for a week. I wonder if Vicky's going. He goes to these shows. He might have clients there as well. I think he's gonna be there. Yeah. You wanna come? I might. Let's go, baby. I might wanna go. Every time he goes to India, he ends up staying for three months though. Four months. <laughs> <laughs> So when you guys see that I don't have YouTube videos, it's my because fault. Because Kabir's in India. <laughs> so it's not a movement I go tremendously heavy on. I'm not really like a like a really strong guy, but focus more on the form. Maybe six reps is good. Okay. I think I should try this or uh, stick with 45. You feel good? You, you hurt? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, if you feel good, go for it. Mm. Great. Good. Oh. Now we're working on all this back thickness over here. Think about when you turn around on stage and they see your back. You want deep, deep insertions. I'm gonna take a second. Winded. I've been doing this for 18 years, man. I'm used to it. Your stamina is not. Plus I took a little C4 today, so. No, no trend pre-workout today? Nah, no trend. Just C4. When we shoot, you usually have the trend shots. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. I've been national for 10 months. 10 months. <laughs> so we got 10 months. Shit. Not one testosterone in 10 months. Nothing. Not a TRT. Not anything. Just a bunch of creatine, aminos, whey protein. Which, you know, these days people make fun of it, but you get so much results. 
from just training without these supplements yeah. to adding in these natural over-the-counter supplements. They really do work. You always stay in shape, but whenever I shoot with yeah. you, you look. No, but that's what I always tell shape. people. It's like, you know, are you taking creatine? And they laugh. It's like, dude, creatine works. Yeah. What are you laughing about? You know, whey protein, uh, branched-chain aminos, L-carnitine, it all works. Even natural testosterone boosters. You know, we have a good one, P6, P6 Extreme. It's a great testosterone booster. Um, it's relatively cheap and it's awesome. So, what does it do? Just makes you harder, makes you recover faster, strength gains, faster metabolism. Why wouldn't you take something like that? So, as you guys see, we're training chest and back. So, we're gonna do three exercises per body part. So, a total of six exercises. So, we have two more back after this. One useful tip here is, use your hands as hooks, okay? Don't squeeze the hell out of the bar because you're gonna get a lot of form and bicep. I wanna eliminate that and only use my lats if possible. What's your training split right now? So my training split right now, chest and triceps, and then I do back and biceps, then I do legs, then I do shoulders and traps, and then I do a full back day on its own. Okay. So I have five days on, two days off. So are you hitting more of like what you want to bring up, like back? You want to focus more on back? Nah. No. I just just chilling. You know, okay. Twitter feels good right now. So you know, there's a time and a place for that. Yeah. You know, so once I pick down a show, and once I get locked into prep, then it's going to be total like different game plan. Okay. So right now, it's just going to the gym and doing what you love. Have fun okay. with it. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now, one good way we can switch it up is like, this week we'll do barbell, next week we'll do dumbbell. Okay. So same movement, different stimulus. Keeps your body growing, keeps your body guessing. And plus, it keeps things from getting old and stale and boring. Constantly switch up your training. Use a variety of cables, free weight, barbells, dumbbells. Always keep your body guessing. <laughs> so right now we did a pronated grip. So we'll want a neutral and we'll want a supinated grip, Okay. all right? So that's my mental checklist for back. I want to do over, neutral, under. Okay. All right, second back exercise. We have cable close grip rows. This attachment's a little wider, so it's like a mid-close range. Ooh. What Kabir is doing, he's doing a great job with filling up the Ooh. negative space between his elbow and his ribs. So you don't want to be out here with your grip. Ooh. You want to be close. Close that distance over here, Ooh. you get more activation in your rhomboids, center your back and your lap. Now notice, as I pull my elbows back, I'm also bringing my chest forward, upwards to the ceiling. Get a better stretch that way. TikTok, you'll hear kids saying that this is not optimal. <laughs> Only this is optimal. Don't let your back move and all you that shit. <laughs> you can't do anything. It's like, you it's, know. It's suboptimal. Well, doggy style isn't optimal neither, but it still feels good to do it. It still you works. Know, it's, you do what feels good and what you like. And, you know, sometimes it's cool to train those positions that are maybe unorthodox or maybe not optimal. If you look at the best bodybuilders in the world, yeah, you know, it's not an exact science, it's a bro science, right. you know? If you look at Arnold training or Ronnie Coleman training, it's just, you can't imagine or fathom how these movements would work and they do. Right. This is our next movement. Oh I'll shit. I'll show you, it's different. Okay, okay. It's different. This is the movement I use to build my V-taper. So, you'll see. You got one of the best V-tapers in the world, so. Kind of really stretching one arm. Boom. Okay. You're gonna like it. Let's do it. I actually found this exercise from uh, Andrew Jack. You know Andrew Jack? Yeah, yeah. And Psycho Fitness. I'm not familiar with them. Like I know them from the internet, but I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to meet them in real life, but I would love to train with them. Oh, okay. Ugh. So watch what I'm doing with my setup. I got one knee. Yeah. Got to wrap this foot around here. Okay. Look, full stretch. 
Don't stop here. Go all the way here. Contract. Stretch. There we go. Watch Kabir as he lengthens his elbow. Really try to bring out that lat from the front, that V-taper look. <sighs> lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Contract. Drive down with the elbow. Lengthen, reach towards the wall. Contract, drive down <sighs> with the elbow. Reach. Contract, drive with the elbow. <sighs> Beautiful. Now, two ways you can do this. You bring it straight down to the side or elbow in front. So side or front. Front will build more thickness in the back. Side to build more width in the back. Mm. Ah. Stretch. Drive back with the elbow. Stretch. Drive back. The key is not stopping here and go this way. Let the weight pull you. Let the weight pull you. Right here. Oh, stretch. Good, right there. Stretch. Pull right here. Boom. Ugh. Amazing. Oh, wow. Shit. Piece of fucking. Ugh. Indian meat. Ribeye. You got a fucking ribeye back here. India. Oh, tandoori Straight. chicken. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, baby. Woo. They're not going to recognize you. They're not going to recognize you, man. November. Who's going to lift the boats? <laughs> Who's going to lift the boats? Question, what's the benefit of doing this movement versus like a seated single hand pull down? They both work. Okay. But you know, you don't want to watch the same movie every day. Yeah. You don't want to eat the same meal every day. So it's good to add variety, different yeah. stimulus, keep things fun, keep the body guessing, and keep the body growing. I got a really good stretch from that. With my height, I can't get a good stretch on these. Yeah. I, can't, I maxed out. So that Always was really switch good. switch it up. Yeah. So I'm not doing 10 reps. Once I feel my forearm and bicep engaging too much, I'll actually stop. Because I do want to keep the concentration strictly in my lats. Woo! Oh! Wow. Ah. All right. Man. Awesome, That's bro. That's all amazing. Awesome, dude. Thank Great, you. Great, dude. No, thank you, man. Did you learn really anything? Good. So much. Yeah. So much. Okay. Uh, good. I learned that I could press 90, which I normally don't do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can only press more. Yeah. But I've never. I don't push myself like that. You know. Yeah. Just training with you, I was able yeah. to do that. My back stretch. Yeah. Never felt that before. Amazing. So good. Amazing. So cool. good. We'll do it again. Hell and yeah. if you guys want to see us work out again, let us know in the comments below. And all my fans in India, thanks for the love. We'll be seeing you shortly. Maybe Kabir will even come with me to Mumbai. I'll be we'll there with see. the camera. Okay. He's out. Wait, before we go, how do you say I'm coming? Say it again. Me Araha Hum. Me Araha Hum. Yes! <laughs> you learned something from me too. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate Thank it. You, bro.